What's up everybody, it's your man Chief Mac here and today we're going to be going through how to manually download and install mods and we're going to be using Task Force Radio as an example today and while Task Force Radio is easier in some ways to install and more difficult to install yet in other ways we are going to use the basic download and installation portion of the process for Task Force Radio to show us just how easy it is to download your mods so first things first we're going to go to our mod list here on the website and as of the end of February 2016 these are the mods we're using in the in the unit so all of these download buttons will take you directly to Armaholic and even though Armaholic is the industry standard for mod scenario other types of files the distribution of those to the community uh, the issue with Armaholic is speed so when you click this download task force arrowhead radio button you are going to be limited in your download speed uh, you know if, if you uh, don't mind the limited download speed or if you've paid them the money to get the better speeds you know go ahead and use this but for the larger mods like the texture packs and the maps it's going to take a long time to download so you can actually see that here you know depending on where you are in the country you might be getting 50 60 70 80 over 100 megabit per second download speed and you're not going to get anywhere near that going through armaholic so if the website is available for the developers separate from armaholic such as that for task force radio uh, i would highly recommend downloading through them because they don't have nearly the traffic because their personal developer websites are not the industry standard for distribution everyone goes to armaholic so if you find the download section of the developers website for armaholic or for task force radios website couldn't be simpler right you're dead center of the website you're gonna click download and at this point we got about 130 megabits to go uh, I'm not getting the speeds I would expect, but I'm getting speeds probably five times better than what I would get on Armaholic. So anyway guys, we're just gonna wait here for this mod to finish downloading. It should only take about 10 seconds, and there we go, we got it. So you're gonna now navigate to wherever you keep your mods, uh, your downloads folder or what here we go. Uh, you're just gonna find the mod we just downloaded, for the Task Force Radio, we just downloaded it's called 0.9.8.zip. Now this is where Task Force Radio is a little easier to work with than some of the other mods. This is just a simple zip file. Uh, other files you will need to use the 7-zip file manager, but we'll go into the use of that in another video. It's extremely simple. It should only take a couple of minutes to explain, if that. So in this particular case, since it's a zip file and we're dealing with Windows, we can go straight into it go one more layer in and now you've got three folders plugins for old team speak extremely extremely antiquated uh, I wouldn't worry too much about that at all but right now in this video we're worrying about installing the mod into Arma 3 so we're gonna go into the Arma 3 folder and then we have a CBA and a task force radio folder as well as a user config folder CBA obviously a critical mod to have installed so make sure you have CBA installed I would not recommend installing it from within another mod because you can't rely on another mod to keep the version of CBA they have packaged with their mod up to date so install CBA separately you can get it on Armaholic and it's not a large mod at all so what we're gonna do super simple guys we're gonna copy the task force radio folder from within the mod into your Arma 3 folder. Now your Arma 3 folder, where is that located? Well, good question. It varies a little bit from computer to computer just depending on how you're configured, but mine is on my main hard drive. This might be C for most people, otherwise for me I have it as labeled B. But it's in Program Files, Steam, Steam Apps, Common, and then Arma 3. And you see here I've got all my other mods installed already. So what we're gonna do, we're just gonna simply drag and drop Task Force Radio from within the mods download folder into Arma 3. We'll do that now. Drag it and drop it. Simple as that, guys. You're most of the way to having it installed right now. So here you go, you see we've got Task Force Radio, it's got all the add-ons, the keys, and whatnot. 
as well as the piping DLL, which is critical. We'll touch on that in a different video. Already installed into your ARMA 3 folder. Last thing you're going to do to finish the installation into ARMA 3 is you're going to deal with this user config folder. It only includes one file, the radio settings.hpp. So what we're going to do in your ARMA 3 folder, you're going to scroll down a little further to user config. It's already in the ARMA 3 folder there. It's empty at the moment. We're just going to drag the task force radio folder into the user config folder. So now in your ARMA 3 user config, you've got your task force radio folder containing your radio settings.hpp. Many, many, many mods, guys, do not have anything to do with the user config folder. Radios, the task force radios is just a little bit different. So really the first couple minutes of this video where we were just we download the mod, simply copy and paste it with the at folder name, the at task force radio. Simply copy it from the download folder into your ARMA 3 folder. It's as simple as that for probably 90%, if not more, of the mods out there. So that concludes today's video, guys. In the next video regarding Task Force Radio, we're going to learn how to get it set up with TeamSpeak. Although it's not complicated, it's a separate process, so it's a separate video. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys, and look forward to that next video.